Today's video is based on an article from issue 4 of our magazine. If you'd like more from our magazine, you can buy it from www.psych2go.shop or you can pledge to our Patreon at www.patreon.com slash psych2go magazine. Today, we'll be talking about three big stages of emotional development in children. When children are young, they go through lots of changes. As well as learning to walk and talk, they go through many emotional milestones. These are, of course, unique to each child, so it's important to remember the months given in this video are just a guide. The milestones do, however, occur in the same stage for each child. Stage 1. The first six months. When a child is born, they are emotionally undeveloped. They can indicate distress by crying, but they lack other more developed responses. By one month, babies cry a lot and will make it known that they are either hungry, tired, or craving attention. By two months, they start to indicate if they like something or not. For example, by showing excitement at a toy. They also begin to exhibit a social smile, realizing that smiling gets them more positive attention. At three months, babies start to recognize and show excitement, and may even show boredom if shown the same stimuli again and again. They may start to show frustration if not attended to. By four months, the baby is starting to laugh. As well as this, four months is when babies first show anger. They may turn their head away from something they dislike, for example. Finally, by six months, babies can match the emotions of others, like smiling when their mother does. Fear and anger might be more evident now, though that may vary wildly from child to child. Stage 2. 6 to 12 months. By seven months, a child will show fear, anger, defiance, and even possibly shyness. By eight months, a baby is better at identifying emotions and, as a result, can experience mixed emotional states. So, around now, the baby develops much more of a personality. At nine months, babies will seek out others for comfort when tired. Another major milestone at this age is that babies are able to recognize themselves in a mirror. At 10 months, babies will show much more extreme positive and negative emotions. They'll show more curious behavior. They'll test things out and reach out to items that interest them. By 11 months, individual differences in children's emotions will become clear. The child may even insist on feeding themselves at this point. Stage 3. 12 to 24 months. After the first year, children are able to display complex emotions. For example, they may start to show signs of jealousy. Some positive things can develop too. Children at this age often smile and laugh at their own cleverness. By 15 months, children show caring traits toward other children and show preferences for certain clothes. They show what they like and dislike and will show frustration if a child plays dirty with them. At 18 months, children can throw temper tantrums. They also start to show signs of shame when they've done something wrong. Another cute development is that they show a strong preference toward a comforting item, like a blanket. By 21 months, children will attempt to control negative emotions and situations. By 24 months, children can be consciously upset by what they dream. They can also respond to others' emotions fully. They also start to identify their gender and their first name. Obviously, beyond this point, children still develop emotionally. They continue to learn about emotions, about displaying them, interacting through them, and learning to feel more than one emotion at once. We hope this video has taught you a little bit about how children develop emotions in their early years. If you liked this video, be sure to check out our magazine. Also, like and share the video, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.